Hi, I'm Paris, and I just can't leave well enough alone. I've been using the lock wallet as seen on TV for about three and a half years until the zipper finally broke on it. And it was just a couple weeks ago I upgraded from this to the Runbox Slim Minimalist wallet, which has been great. I really like this wallet. And yet, here I am today, because <laughs> I just can't resist trying out the as seen on TV tack wallet. Epic review What's so appealing about the ultra tough tack wallet? Well, they show right here, lighting it on fire and the contents of the wallet, the presumably paper bills and the credit cards are not damaged. They also mention on their website that you can shoot a crossbow arrow at this and it will not be pierced. Now, if I'm close enough to a heat source that my wallet is catching on fire or people are shooting arrows at me, I think the condition of my credit cards is gonna be the least of my concerns. But since they mentioned that this wallet can do it, I gotta try it out. I picked this up for $20. You can find out more about it at the link down below this video. In the package is an arbitration agreement, which I guess comes in handy if uh, your credit cards do melt and you're still around to wanna make a claim against the wallet and the wallet itself ah it's got a lanyard on it hmm other than that it's velcro <laughs> welcome back to the 70s and 80s it's a velcro men's wallet all right opens up i do like wallets that have the long uh, flat area for the bill fold that you can you can put your money in flat i can't do that on my current slim minimalist wallet and then we've got spot for cards spot for something more cards no little hidden secret oh yeah here's a little hidden secret area inside with the zipper not gonna fit a lot in there few coins or something. Here's a closer look at it. This seems to be permanently attached. Now I guess you can remove the clip if you don't want to use that feature, but I think the idea is that you hook it onto a belt loop, that way you don't have to worry about it falling. It's another tack feature since you're going to be out there in the battlefield and you're bringing your wallet along, you don't want it to just fall out of your pocket. I got yeah, this Velcro. And what is this card talking about? Usually they give you a picture of some family in the wallet. No, this is keep your valuables safe, fire resistant, credit card, RFID protection, money, change, and keys. Keys too? Safe? Maybe I guess if you hook them on the thing. And then there's also a strap so it won't fall off. They do not mention it surviving crossbow fire, but I'm going to go check on the website. I'll see if I can get a screenshot of that. Well, I was only able to find that claim about the arrow mentioned on the Amazon site, so maybe you won't be able to take an arrow going through it to the binding arbitration. To start with, let's see how the contents of my Runbox Slim Minimalist Wallet fit into the TAC Wallet. The TAC Wallet box says up to five cards, and I looked at it and thought, well, I can get a lot more cards than that in here. I think I've got about 10 and some insurance card, my driver's license, as well as the money. And look, it, it all fits. Then I went to close it up. So I've got to close it so that the Velcro will catch on here. And that kind of, that kind of goes, but that's not gonna fold over. So I guess the reason it can't hold that many cards is because of the folding of it to provide all that fireproof protection. All right, I've taken half the cards out, kept the paper money. This is a survivalist wallet after all. And now it does close up. Not too much complaint. Feels a little on the fat side just from that paper money, I guess. So the TAC wallet will fit five cards and some paper money. Surprisingly though, it won't take as many cards as my slim minimalist wallet, not and be able to close it up to provide that protection. So it's protected now. However, first I'm gonna take my actual credit cards and cash out, put something else inside that can get melty or catch fire if it's prone to and see what this can do when there's a flame burning on the outside. All right, I've got the arbitration agreement in here in lieu of paper money, and I've got an old expired pet perks card here. I think this spot will be the closest to the outside, which means the closest to the fire when I, let's see if I have it there, and I fold that there. Yeah, it should be right there. So, 
Time to get a little flame going. See how this does. Here we go. Now, how long is a reasonable amount of time to expect that my wallet is uh, on fire before I do something about it? Ooh, it's singeing. It's smoking. I'm starting to feel the heat on my hand on the other side. It's, it's got weird colors going on now. There's blue and red, <laughs> and it looks just like a flame, which is actually kind of cool. wonder how the card inside is doing. Oh, oh, burning smell. All right. Paper money stand in, looks fine. Card. Hmm. Yeah, I don't see any damage to it. A little bit warm. Hey, it works. <laughs> what can I try next? Okay, I'm gonna put the paper right up at the end here. So that way it'll be right where I'll have the flame going on. And if anything's gonna happen, it should happen there. So I'm gonna go right on the same spot again with the flame. Here we go. Hope this doesn't suddenly burst into flame. But it did a pretty good job last time. Something's burning though, because I can smell it. Look at that smoke. Whoa. <laughs> that got really hot. Okay, what about oh what about the pseudo paper money inside? Still smoking. I can feel the heat through it. Is that the slightest bit? Slightest bit yellow or is that my eyes deceiving me? You see what I'm saying? Right here looks a little bit yellow. Either like the paper was getting warm enough and thinking about burning or maybe the material of the wallet was dissolving and depositing itself. You know, maybe the smoke came pouring through inside. And deposited that there. Well there's no doubt that there's permanent damage done here. This is kind of rough and crusty now so the material itself has melted. Now they didn't say that they weren't clear but they didn't say that wouldn't happen. It could be as a way of saving the contents of the wallet the exterior will deteriorate over a certain amount of time. So what exactly does it say? On the box it shows a whole lot of flame but it just says flame resistant fabric. What does that mean? Well, it's not going to readily burst into flame. So I don't know that that means so much that it's about protecting the contents of the wallet, come to think of it, as the wallet itself isn't going to burst into flame. So they mentioned on the box two standards for fire resistance that this product meets, and I looked them both up. The ASTMF 2894, which is related to, it's mostly about clothing not catching fire, using a hot air circulating oven and ASTM D6413, Vertical Flame Test for Flame Resistance of Textiles, where they mention it's put in direct contact with a flame, a methane flame, for 12 seconds, and they look at does it catch fire? After the source of ignition is removed, does it continue to burn? That's an important one, and so far on, on this wallet I did find that it does put itself out after you pull the flame away. So based on saying the TAC wallet meets this standard, the implication I'm getting from that is that the wallet itself won't easily burst into flame and continue to burn. It doesn't really seem to relate to how well it can protect the contents of the wallet. So that's kind of disappointing. I was thinking this was some kind of Kevlar-like material where it, whatever was inside of it would not easily burn and also that if an arrow was shot at it, it wouldn't likely go through. Still have to test that. Now I don't have a bow and arrow to try shooting at the tack wallet, but I do have a dart. I figure this is the closest thing. So I'm gonna pin the wallet up on the fence, see what a dart does to it. This is a fairly heavy bar room quality dart. All right, I left just uh, fake paper money in there. Let's see if I can actually hit it from a little distance now. Here we go, remembering my bar room days. That was close. 
Well, the prongs that hold this on have broken off, so I'm going to be throwing it like this now. Did that hit it? It must have because it moved it. Hey, it didn't go through. Another try. I think that hit it and did not damage it. Let me just try to stab it and see what happens. Okay, we'll close it up. Stab it. That went through just the first part of the fabric and it actually happened to be right where I burned it so it was already weak. Let's try it on this side where the fire didn't damage it. Just barely penetrating that first outer layer. Yeah, because my pseudo money is still in there, undamaged. So the tack wallet kind of passed the arrow test, didn't pass the fire test though. Now as for using it as a regular wallet, how well it fits in the pocket? Perfectly fine. Of course, it isn't going to be too fat because you can't get too many cards in it and still be able to close it up. I don't think the tack wallet would be my first choice, even if I were a firefighter taking it to go out on firefighting calls. The Runbox Slim Minimalist wallet, it's only $10 more and I really do like this wallet. But I guess they both serve different needs, so I'll link to both of them below this video. And at the end of this video, I'll link to my review of the Runbox wallet, and I'll see you on the next review. Epic review.